Good morning, folks. We've got space weather to discuss, including a new group of sunspots incoming. And the big focus in the articles today is Earth's magnetic field. Let's get started with our star, and while there weren't any significant flares or Earth-directed eruptions, we've got two coronal holes, including the V-shaped trans-equatorial feature, and those new sunspots I mentioned. First, we're going to look at the solar wind purple line plasma speed heading back down now and that's the waning of the coronal hole stream after a couple of days of geomagnetic instability produced from it again we've got more coronal hole streams coming we've got small sunspots in central heliographic longitudes and a larger group departing on the south on the right you can probably see the new sunspots top left incoming we are within just months of reaching the peak of the sunspot cycle, which will then last one to two years, and we can see the arching umbral magnetic fields all over the place. Coming to focus on the newer sunspot group, top left, we see that it is actually several sunspot groups, largest out in the lead but with considerable development potential trailing behind it. We'll have eyes on that this week. European Space Agency released some magnetic maps. Surface power of the Earth's magnetic field here, which matches expectations. Strongest fields near the south magnetic pole as it shifts away from Antarctica and to the south of Australia. Slightly weaker fields up north where the magnetic pole is moving the fastest. And the weakest point of all, the South Atlantic anomaly. The lithospheric fields are always more interesting to look at. These actually help play a role in how severe the solar storm-induced current is found in your locale and also how the magnetic pole shift will eventually affect your specific location as well. Speaking of which, maybe you saw an article recently like this one on the Weather Channel discussing ozone holes blasted by the aurora. We have gone over this several times, and we will again in a special video soon for newer viewers, and it's all tied to observations communicated a couple weeks ago by the analysis team. They were very surprised by the severity of the event, but they shouldn't have been. This is one of the most important things we've said to watch for for the last couple of years as Earth's magnetic field is entering its cyclical excursion with the magnetic pole shift, more severe and deeper depletions of the ozone. Again, we'll try to get a special video out on this for you soon, but meanwhile, you can learn more about this topic with the playlist and our books. They're listed below the video in the description box. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here but right now at 6 a.m. in the new valley of the sun eyes open no fear be safe everyone